whatever. Yeah, we let's, let's do it. Come on, Jay. Come on, baby girl. I'm a, I didn't put this in her head. Which one is the good one? Oh, see, she changed her mind. Now, which one is the bad one? Oh, well, all praises. She, done, she right. fixed that real quick. You see that? You smart, baby girl. You heard that. You know what? That, 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 that's how the mind of a child works. Once they can understand the truth and you correct what's in their mind. I know that. You're right. Why her mentality was like, oh yeah, this is that. Yes. So just like she just changed it up. Yes. So like, I don't know what her mom is teaching her. It doesn't matter. Society is teaching her. Mom ain't gotta teach her exactly. nothing. TV is teaching them that. That's why we gotta make sure we change all the images in our house. We get home. We get home. If you got Jesus up as a white man, take that down. Right. Find you a black one and put in there. So right. when the kids grow up in the house, they can say, you say, who, who's that? That's Jesus Christ. That's, right. That's right. who he is. Right. That's what he looked like. How you doing, sister? So your question is, you say it sounds like we're more about separation, right? How how much do you know about, do you believe in the Bible? So how much do you know about the Bible? Like, have you ever, still, learn the still learning? Okay, good, good, good. So just in case, I'm, I just want to eliminate the foundation. This is what we do. You know how some people go to school to be uh, theologians and try to get an understanding of the Bible? That's not how you get an understanding of the Bible. Right. I'm gonna show you first, how you get an understanding of the Bible because this is a spiritual book. It was written by the Israelites to the Israelites, not to the whole world. It was written to the Israelites so that they would know their history and who they are. So I'm going to show you something. Most people, majority of the world, they cannot go into, into this Bible and just give you an understanding. There has to be, there's a process to it. The Lord just don't give a full understanding. You have to do something to get it. I'm going to show you. Read this. Psalm chapter 111 verse 10 Bring it up. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom This whole book is a book of wisdom And it says the, the, the fear of the Lord That's the beginning of wisdom You first gotta fear God Meaning not be scared of God But fear the judgments that you get For breaking his commandments That's you fearing being put to death For breaking God's commandments So what are you gonna do? You're gonna keep his commandments It says the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom a good understanding and you get a good understanding listen up sis you get a good understanding have all they that do his commandments so you get an understanding of the scriptures when you do the commandments now is the bible about separation does god have a separate people that he loves more than any other people on the earth have your pastors ever asked you that or taught you that huh yeah, does God have a favorite? Does God have a favorite people? Give me that in Ezra too, God's favorites. Does God have a favorite people on the earth? He created all nations, right? But does he have a favorite people? Never heard it. Nobody that question has never been posed, right? And this is not a this is not a old, you know, a bad session. It's just a simple question because guess what? I didn't know either. None of these brothers knew either. But the Bible, I'm, I'm not going to say anything. I want you to listen up too, brother. The Bible is about separation. God has a favorite people. Uh, find me that in Ezra. I want you to get Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Watch this right here. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Listen close. It says thou. Who is he talking to? Who is he talking to? He's talking to the Israelites. Get Deuteronomy 1 and 1. This is how you're supposed to read the Bible and get an understanding. Who is God talking to or who is being spoken to when he says thou art an holy people? The Old Testament. Yeah, the Old Testament is what? The Old Testament is contextual. You have to be reading the context. It is. Are you reading the context? Pull out random verses. Yes, you can. All right. I'm going to show you why. Give me that in uh, Isaiah chapter 29. I'm going to show you what the Bible says. I'm, notice, I'm not going to tell you anything about how I, about what I think. You can also go back and read Genesis 9, 20. What did I say? And when Cam was cursed, and said he would be the servant of his brother. Yes, and he and is. Read that he is. Who is Ham? Who is Ham today? Who is Ham today? That's what we would use to justify the No, no, no. Ask, think about the question I'm asking. Who is the nation of Ham today on the earth 
during this during the biblical times, Ham has a Ham had a lineage. Who comes from the lineage of Ham that are living on the earth today? This is the history that you must understand because we don't come from the lineage of Ham. We come from the lineage of Shem. Those that come from the lineage of Ham were the Canaanites, the Hivites, the Pezzarites. Those are the people today known as Nilotic Africans. Those are Nilotic Africans. We are not Nilotic Africans. We are Shemites. We come from the lineage of Shem. But let's stay the course. Hold your peace. Let's stay the course. Sexy Red. Y'all know who that is? Do you see what she's doing? You see the you see the lip gloss line that she's coming out with? Hey, pull it up. We're gonna show you. This is the perversion of the black woman. They are using our sisters as a billboard for sin. They're using you as a billboard. Don't show it to me, show it to them. No, 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 show it to them. I want them to see it. I want them to see it. She has a lip gloss called gonorrhea. What's the what's the names of the other ones? That is that's that's that is real. That is real. This is real. This is real. This is the perversion that nations are, are pushing on the black woman. So this is why this is why we come out here to teach our people because ain't nobody in the community teaching our people nothing. We, we're, we've let TV and, 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 and music videos teach us how we should operate in society. But this is She's going to make millions and millions of dollars with this foolishness. Yeah. People are out there supporting it right now. So I want you to hear this. Sisters, I want y'all to hear this. Listen up. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Who is this holy people that he's talking to? Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Unto all who? Israel. On this side, Jordan and the wilderness. So when you know the story about y'all know the story about Moses leading the children of Israel out of Egypt? You do know that story, right? So did he lead all nations out of Egypt or is just Israel? Just Israel, right? So when they got out of out of Egypt into the wilderness, who was the audience that Moses was dealing with? Just Israel. He was only dealing with Israel. Why? That's why it's that's why uh he said let my people go. He ain't said let all people go because all people was not in captivity in Egypt. He said let my people go. God's people is the children of Israel. Today known as black, Hispanic, and Native Indians. That's who you are. You can't change it. You are an Israelite. You, you, you can't have a blood transfusion and get it out of there. So now read that in Deuteronomy 7 and 6 again. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. It says you are a holy people Unto God, sisters, sisters. But you're talking about you're talking about the Old Testament. Okay, so what? A, okay. The New Testament is talking about believers. Okay, let me get Matt, let me get uh, Luke chapter one and verse sixty-eight. Bring it out. Let me get Luke chapter one verse sixty-eight. This is New Testament, right? Okay, let's see. Let's see what the, let's see what let's see what Christ said. Let's see what what's being spoken of of Jesus Christ in the New Testament. In fact, we're gonna stay in the New Testament. Read. Luke chapter 1 verse 68 Blessed be the Lord God of Israel Well I be darned Did you hear that? It said blessed be the Lord God of who? Of Israel Come on so we, the audience is still talking about Israel It still ain't talking about all the other nations It's still talking about Israel Read For he has visited and redeemed his people You gotta stress that he is the what? He has visited and redeemed his people All people His People. He has visited Israel to redeem his people, come on, and has raised up a horn of salvation for us, for everybody, us. You see these key words the Bible is using? It says he's, he's visited Israel to redeem his people and has raised up a horn of salvation for us, come on, in the house of his servant David. Well, what is the house of his servant David, which was in the Old Testament? What is the house of servant David? Israel is the house of his servant David. Come on. Right. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophet. So listen. Sister, listen. It says, as he spake. As he spake by what? By the mouth of his holy prophets. Where are his holy prophets written at? In the Old 
Testament. Yes. That's where the prophets are reading at. He's speaking on the same thing that the prophets spoke about in the Old Testament. Come on. Which have been since the world began. He said it's been like this, sisters. Sisters. He said it's been like this since when? Since the world began. Since the world began, it's always been about the nation of Israel. Since this world came into inception, it's always been about you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. It's right. always been about that. That is the ultimate separation. Then I want the one in Leviticus 26. I want the one in Leviticus 26 about the separation. He separated us from other people. That's in the Bible. Now, he has visited and redeemed his people. Come on. That we... Hold on. You see how possessive this is. We're reading the Bible. It says that we should be saved from our enemies. That we should be saved from our enemies. Well, who is our enemies? Who is our enemies? Is this in the Bible? I'm sorry, is this recorded? Is this in the Bible? Yes, yeah, it's, for, it's for us though, our protection, you know what I'm saying? Yes. You know, there's a lot of people that do not want to hear this truth. We've been attacked, we've been attacked so many times it's ridiculous. We have a great attack on us right now. You know why? Because we're teaching, we're teaching our sisters that you're the greatest woman that ever walked the earth. You're an Israelite woman. Because we're teaching our brothers that you're an Israelite man, the greatest man that ever walked the earth. But other nations don't want to hear that. Right. Other Israelites do not want to hear that. Right. But you know why? Because Jesus Christ is the ultimate salvation. He's coming back to save the children of Israel. That's what we're reading. He has visited and redeemed his people that we should be saved from our enemies. Your enemies are the ones that put you in chains and brought you different. Would friends bring friends to another land and put them in chains? You got a friend? Y'all friends or y'all sisters? Friends, okay. Would you take your sister, put a chain on her neck, put chains on her ankles, and then take her to a whole other land? Would you do that? You wouldn't do that, right? You would, you would consider somebody that did that to you your what? Your enemy. That's in the Bible. It's in the Bible that your enemies would come and put chains on your neck, on your ankles and your feet, and take you to another land. That's in the... Look on the front of the flyer. Look on the very front of your flyer. That's Deuteronomy chapter 28. That's what that is. That's Deuteronomy 28. And that happened to no other people on the planet except you. Right. The thing here in America is we have been we have been diluted with the doctrine of America. We've been diluted and and, and watered down when it comes to knowing who we are. Because you can ask, watch this, watch this, sisters. Hey, brother, brother, brother. Let me ask you one question, one question. Stay right there. I want to show something. What's your nationality? He's black African. You see that? But he's not black African because you got on all black, sister. He's not black or African. African is a name come from Leo Scipio Africanus. That's where that name comes from. Leo Scipio Africanus. So listen, on the back of the flyer, right? There is a, there's a, there's a website. The YouTube is there. You can just scan it. It'll pop right up and then you can start learning your nationality. Don't believe what we're saying. Actually get you a King James Bible and sit down. Yeah, you y'all probably read the NIV, right? You can use King James, you smart. Because the NIV, they took a whole, you will not find a lot of scriptures that are written in the, uh, in the King James Version are not in the NIV Version. You know why? Because it's catering to black people. Right. It's catering to black people. So the same people that put chains on your neck, they, once they understood this, oh, we got to get a new version of the Bible. That's why all of these versions of the scriptures exist. So grab your Bible. And then you study and learn. Because you're an Israelite. Hey, you, hey, it, I mean, it behooves you to. Because this day, you can go, I'm just talking. To, because this day, you will not be able to stand before God and say that you didn't know. You know, you know now that you're an Israelite and that you got to keep the commandments of God. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you why color matters. What's your name, princess? What's her name? Aaliyah? Can I, can, can I, can I use her for a quick example? Aaliyah, come here, baby. Let me show you something. Come here, baby. Come, oh, come with mama. Bring, bring, bring over here. Bring the bring baby girl. Right here. I'm going to show you why color matters and what has happened to us as a people. Watch this. Aaliyah. Who this is right here? Who? She said that's God. You see that? You see why color matters? How you? Why would you? So, so if that's God, Aaliyah, who this is right here? 
The what? The evil. The evil one. You see why color matters, bro? Bring it up. She said that the person. Now, which one looks like you? Wake him up. Which one looks like you? God looks like you? No, look at this. And then look at this one. Which one of these look like you? So are you evil? You're not evil, sister. You're a princess. That's right. This is why color matters. This is why color matters, Esau. This is why color matters. I'm going to give you this back. Give me Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. The Bible explains what color Jesus is. This is horrible and it's heartbreaking when I see my baby sister out here and she think that God is white. Mama, don't leave. I'm about to show you something. Oh, that God ain't got no color. We're, we're beautiful beautiful listen, I need y'all to listen to me. I need y'all to listen to me and not Satan. Right. Baby girl, let me show you something one more time. You see this right here? This is the devil, sister. Yeah, you're the devil. This is this is the devil. How am I? Watch this. Mama, listen. I'm going to read it out the Bible. Mama, you believe the Bible? God loves her. You believe the Bible, brother. I know, but we got to believe what the word of God says, right? So God let's see. Jesus loves her. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, we gonna read it. I, I, I'm gonna read it. I ain't gonna answer you. I'm gonna ask you with the word of God. Read it. Revelation chapter one verse fourteen. This is what the Bible says. His head and his hairs were white like wool. It says Jesus Christ. His head and his hairs were white like wool. That's not wool, brother. That's that's goat hair. All right. Wait a minute, Mama. It says his head and his hairs were white like wool, Mama. Your hair, the hair on your head, is that wool? No, but read on. The Bible says as white as snow, brother. The hair on your head, is this wool or is this wool? Which one is wool? He said his head Let's make a comparison. Let me let me talk to you. You got more, you got some comments. Here. Let me ask you this: What is woolly hair? Is this woolly hair or is this woolly hair? Which one? Which one is woolly hair? We're talking about hair. Which one is wool? Okay, our hair is wool. That's very simple. The Bible said what? Read it again. His head and his hair were white like wool. It says his head, the head, the hair on his head, and the hairs on his face, like this brother right here, he has a beard, was white like wool. As white as snow. It will be as white as snow. If you let your facial hair grow out, when you get older, what color is your hair going to turn? It's going to turn white. White is a color, woolly in texture. His head and his hairs. Mama, you can't, mama. If we're reading it from the Bible, we ain't making nothing up. It says his head and his hairs were white like wool. Come on. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. It says Jesus Christ's eyes were like a flame of fire. Why? Because he drunk wine in moderation. What was his first miracle? What was Jesus Christ's first miracle? He turned water into into wine. What did he do with the wine? Pour it out? They drunk the wine at the wedding, right? So when you drink wine, what happens to the whites of your eyes? They turn red. You got a drunk uncle. We all got that drunk uncle that's sitting in the tree and drink all day. Eyes turn red. You know what I'm talking about. Right. We all got one of them in our family. That yeah, uncle that just drank. All right? It says first miracle, his first miracle, he turned water into wine. Come on. And his feet. Now he's talking about Jesus Christ's feet. His, I can his see your feet. Is your, keep it quiet because you a liar. Clay. Is your feet the same color as your legs? Look, clay figurines your feet and your birds legs, are they the same color? Brought them to life. Is your hands clay the same color as your legs? Birds brought them to life. Or are they a different color? They're the same color. They're, they're the same color. What about your face? Is your face the same color as the rest of your body? Yes. Okay, so we we talk about Jesus Christ's feet and his feet like a divine brass. What color is brass? What color is brass, baby girl? You got good common sense. What color is brass? Not grass. Brass, like a penny. What color is a penny? Brown. This is how smart she is, cause she's innocent. She's simple. She's gonna tell you the truth off the top. It's brown. Brass. Brass is brown. You see, you, see, you, see the, you see the lie? This is why I don't want you to know your history. What is the color? Once you understand Jesus Christ is a black man, it's over with for them. It's a done deal. They done lied so much. Brass is brown. Okay. Also, it's brown. Yeah, brass. Look, look at brass. He's That's brass. Saying that I ain't saying nothing. The Bible saying is saying that. Right. I ain't saying brass. nothing. He, I mean, he's saying so, brass. Pay attention. This is why they're taking Auburn history out of the school, young lady. Because they never brass. want you and this baby girl. She just said that. Yeah. 
Jesus Christ, who was being described as a black man, she said that he was white. Is this your son? Is this your daughter? But God loves you. Okay. God so watch this. Don't listen to that. Listen. listen to the Bible. I'm going to ask you this. Who yeah, taught listen, her yes, that this is listen Jesus to Christ? The Bible. Who listen taught her? To the Bible. Did y'all teach her that this was Jesus Christ? Not this false prophet. Y'all don't teach Not her anything. This false but prophet. she learned it though. She but she learned it though. From other people. Right. So what made her say that this is the evil one? Because. Who said that was that? Who is this right? What did you say this is? This, this is who? The what? Which one? The evil God. The evil God. You see this? Now. Why would you say that? Why would you say that? Because because why? Because he has white hair. He has white beard. He has a black mouth. Because he's black. He got, he got let me let, let me ask you, baby girl. Why would you say he's the evil one? Because he's black, and black is bad. You see that? No, black, black is, is bad. Not bad. Black is not bad. But this is the reason why he don't want you to say this. And this is why. Let me finish this. Let me finish this last film. I'm gonna let you go. So he showed you the color of brass, right? It's brown. So the Bible says that his feet like that to fine brass, but it gets better. Hold on. As if, as if this brass they burned in a furnace. It says as if the brass was burned in a furnace. Now if you take that brown uh, penny and you burn it, what color is gonna turn? A penny is copper, not brass. Ain't nobody talking to you. A penny is if copper, you burn not brass. If you burn a penny, if, show her burnt brass. If you burn brass, what color does it turn? It ain't gonna turn no color. It is gonna turn a color, sister. This is, we gotta stop being simple-minded. We're too afraid to admit that our Lord and Savior is black. That's right. We're too afraid to admit that Jesus Christ is a black man. That's right. Jesus Christ is a black man. He ain't gonna never be the color of the world. He quite possibly it, is. It was so dark as if it burned in a furnace. So if you burn something in a furnace, you see he that? Was most likely Arabic. Give me, uh, Arabic. Give me, give me, give me, uh, he's not Arabic. So, so, give me so, uh, Hebrews 7 so and 14. You're listening to them, right? Give me, yeah. give, give me Hebrews so 7 and 14. Are you going against him? Give me, yeah. Yes, 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 yes he, he is. is. Yes. Because, because he, he is he, not he, an Israelite. Right. That's why he's going to hear him. Okay, let's hear him. Let's hear him then. Let's talk. He preaches that I cannot be saved. You can be saved. I absolutely can be saved. Now I believe I am saved. Now did you hear that? Because I because I I follow the teachings of Jesus Christ. Oh yeah. All right, now you're done. You're done listening. You're done talking. Now let's let the Bible uh, talk. Bro, we're not, no, no, listen, no, no, no. Hey sister, notice something. Let, hey, we ain't let saying nothing. Talk. He's standing. He's don't standing in front of you. He's, he's standing in front of you with no biblical proof of anything. Right. I'm not giving you my words. I'm reading what's recorded in the Bible. Right. Use common sense here. Right. He's talking to you. Ask him where his Bible, Bible at. Tell him to prove Don't what he's saying. To the false Tell him prophet. to prove what he's saying. False now, prophet. He never said anything bad right yeah, now. I haven't heard him say bad. I'm going to show you what he said is bad. Because I'm going to show you what he said is bad. First, drop that. Give me Joel chapter 2, verse 27. Give me Joel. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you what the problem is. Give me Joel chapter two, verse twenty-seven. Now I want you to see this. I'm not. I'm not saying my words. This is in the Bible. Read what you got. Joel chapter two, verse twenty-seven. And you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. God says He is in the midst of Israel, the twelve tribes of Israel. Who is going to get the kingdom of heaven? The twelve tribes of Israel. Read. And that I am the Lord your God. He's the Lord God of Israel. And none else. And nobody else. <laughs> nobody else. He's only the God of Israel. Now, the question is, so who is Israel? Who is Israel today? Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 32. How do we know who Israel is today? What was that in Jeremiah? Uh, 14.2. Jeremiah 14. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We're going to get that too. Watch this. Listen. You see that? Ask him where his biblical proof is at. Ask him where his biblical proof is at. I'm reading the Bible. I ain't just talking to you out of my mouth. Did Jesus never give me a script, give me a he never preach to Gentiles? Give me a give me a scripture. Um it's all over there. Oh, you see that? Oh, I'm, the, I'm, okay, I'm but, telling you what's in the Bible. But just because he don't know the scripture doesn't mean that. Yes, he it does. So, yes, it so, does. So me not knowing the scripture is what? I'm, I'm gonna, gonna show you what yes, I'm gonna show you. Oh, Can I show you? Because she doesn't know Can the I show scripture. You? She's Are you gonna not let, saved. Wait a minute, man. Are you gonna let me show you this? What? Are you gonna let me show you? 
Read this. If Read. you don't know the scripture, you ain't saved. Watch this. I'm not going to say anything. Watch. John chapter 7, verse 35. No. Then said the Jews among themselves, Whether will he go that we shall not find him? Will he go unto the dispersed among the Gentiles uh -huh. and teach the Gentiles? So who were these Gentiles that Jesus Christ was going to go to? He said, Whether will he go? Read it again. Unto uh, the dispersed. Whether will he go uh -huh. that we will not that we shall not find him? Uh -huh. Will he go unto the dispersed among the Gentiles uh -huh. and teach the Gentiles? So who is the Gentiles that he was going to teach? He said that there is a dispersed people among the Gentiles to teach those Gentiles. Who are those dispersed people among the Gentiles? Let's see. Read. James chapter 1 verse 1. Bring it up. James the servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ to the 12 tribes which were scattered abroad greeting. He said to the 12 tribes that were scattered abroad. How were the 12 tribes scattered abroad? Through slavery. Right. We got scattered in slavery. Today we are the dispersed amongst the Gentiles. That's when you right. go when you go down Market Street on Saturday, that's the Gentile nation. You are the dispersed that is among the Gentiles right. because you're an Israelite amongst Gentiles. So you will be you in today in America. You call yourself what? Why? An American. That's a, a Gentile name because you're not That's an American. Yes, because you but you're not an American. You are an Israelite. Right. You are an, you are a dispersed Israelite among the Gentiles. Now I'm gonna show you. You said if I if I don't if I don't know it, or am I held accountable because I don't know it? Give me Deuteronomy 20, 25. I'm going to show you that reading the scriptures and getting the understanding of it is how you're going to be able to keep the commandments and be saved. Oh, 20, 25, 20, 25. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. I bet you, you ain't never heard this in church. The woman. The who? The woman uh -huh. shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So this is talking about apparel or that which you wear. You should not wear that which pertains oh, to a man. You, you ain't see, supposed you to wear that say. hat. You see? You ain't supposed to wear that hat. How, how you see that? Yeah. Listen. No, don't worry about I'm him. Not, I'm not worried about him. You're in this. Uh, I'm finish what you're saying. Okay, I'm going to finish what the Bible is saying. What? Read it again. Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. You said pants. Wait a minute. I haven't got to finish it. I ain't done yet. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Uh-huh. For all that do so, everybody that cross dress and do this, are abomination unto the Lord thy God. God says that is an abomination. Now, did I make that up or is that written? Okay. Now you said, how did you know it was pants? How did you know that? Because first off, I grew up in the church. My dad is a deacon. Okay. So at the end of the day, but did you apply this law? We was raised up in the church where we had to wear skirts. Yes. And we had to wear cotton stockings. Uh huh. And we had to wear hats to uh -huh. cover our hair. Uh -huh. So I get what you said, and yes, I did hear that scripture when I was little. But guess what? You did not apply it. I didn't. No. I so didn't. guess what? Are you going to be judged because you didn't apply? I am. You are. I you am. are. So in order to this, this is this is what goes into being saved, like he said. You cannot be saved unless you are keeping the commandments. The twelve, the, 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 the kingdom of heaven is only for the twelve tribes of Israel. Yeah, right. The That's commandments it. or the book I, I, of Leviticus. I don't agree with you. All praises. But now, at the, same time. the commandments okay. but. or the but. book of Leviticus. Don't, yes. said, don't pay him no attention. You, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Oh, you said, you, just, you told me. Said, but everybody has something You to just say. told me don't pay him no attention. Then when I tell you, now you're like, Because I we, were talking. Okay. we were talking. Okay, what are you we saying? But at the same time, I get exactly what you're saying. Okay. But I'm not going to go against him. I'm listening to what he's saying, but I'm not going to tell but him to shut up. Is, is what he's saying true? I know what he said. I heard it very clear. I'm going to show you what he said. Now, first, do you, you, did, you do agree. You do agree. You do agree that, sister, sister, a woman is supposed to keep her head covered. You do agree that you do not keep his commandment. You admit it. You do that. You do agree. Okay, now, now, let's deal with being saved. The brother was just going over into it. Everybody can't. We just read in Joel chapter 2, verse 27. I'm going to sit here all day and listen he to said, you. I'm the I Lord your God. I got to go. And the God of Israel only. I will be back here be, next Saturday. Yeah, we'll be, we'll be, we'll be right here too. We'll be right here too. Hey, read, listen to this. I know she got to lead Luke chapter 1, verse 68. 
Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Of everybody. Of Israel. Blessed be the Lord God of the whole world. Of Israel. He's only the God of Israel, Mr. Esau. Come on. For he has visited and redeemed his people. Who is his people? The children of Israel. Come on. And have raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. The house of his servant David is the house of Israel. Come on. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, uh -huh. which have been since the world began, Rick. that we, that we, the Israelites, should be saved from our enemies. We have to be saved from our enemies. Ain't nobody else got to be saved. We're the only ones that's on the bottom that needs to be saved. Right. You got a question? Well, hold on, let's finish this. Read this. And from the hand of all that hate us. Who hates us? Who hates us? Everybody hates us. You see how you, you, see how you turn that eyebrow up like that? But baby girl's smart. We got to make sure that she knows she's an Israelite and that well, this right here is Jesus Christ, baby girl. This, this, this one. My, this, my first this right here, this is not God. That's a lie. It's not God. That's what God look like right there. I, I, I got your question. See, I don't see no color. You have to. I don't see no color. Oh, give me that. Come on back. Give me, give me a, uh, uh. Wait, wait. Before you read the scripture. Yeah. I said I don't see no color because so many people around here, all they see is color and they attack, attack, attack. Yeah. That's not, that's, that's, no. And I don't teach my daughter that. Okay. I don't teach her that. But, what the but Bible, we do have a lot of hate around here. We gotta go, this is why we're still in the condition that we're in. Right. Because we don't want to conform to the scriptures as it is written. We want to conform to what we think. And what we think has got us in, on the bottom of society today. That's this is right. why we're still on the bottom. Because we, don't, we have not conformed to this. The Bible says that we must believe on Christ as it is written. That's right. He's written to us. He is a black man. That's right. That's what we gotta believe, and we must teach our people that. Because Christ ain't coming back to save the whole world. He's only coming back to redeem them that are keeping the commandments and that are holding faith, holding strong to the faith that He is the Messiah. Right. That's only that's the only people that's going. Two thirds of our people are going to die when Christ comes back. Right. Two thirds. Only one third of us will be saved. Can I get my shoe back? So please? It, it, it is imperative that we teach our babies what Christ looks like because they've taken that they've given us all these false images like this one that's why I, and nobody taught her that she I learned just, it from TV I just, I just rather have it just feels right that white is right white is right and black is bad right, right to have the, you see that you see what you said white is good bird. black is bad right you see that she, that's what she believed but you can you asking her that and she's not understanding what you're saying she understand clearly. so she's saying yes just like she just said that this was what the devil whatever yeah she let's, said. let's do it come on Jake, come baby girl I'm a, I didn't put this in her head which one is the good one? Oh, she she changed her mind now which one is the bad one? Oh, well, all praises she, done, she right. fixed that real quick you see that you smart baby girl you heard that you know what that, 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 that's how the mind of a child works once they can understand the truth and you correct what's in their mind. The first person that probably came to her I know that. Her that. You're right. So that's why her mentality was like, oh, yeah, this is that. Yes. Up. So just like she just changed it up. Yes. So, like, I don't know what her mom is teaching her. It doesn't matter. Society is teaching her. Mom ain't got to teach her exactly. nothing. TV is teaching them that. That's why we got to make sure we change all the images in our house. We get home, we get home. If you got Jesus up as a white man, take that down. Right. Find you a black one and put in there. So right. when the kids grow up in the house, they can say, you say, who, who is that? That's Jesus Christ. That's, right. That's, That's who he right. is. That's what he looked like. That's right. All right? What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. family.